on to episode 6. The glue's dried, so the push rod guides are nicely embedded in both sides. Now we've got to make a decision what we're going to do about the elevator. Because with that bend in it, there's no way we can use it directly the way it is. I could cut a slot through about here somewhere, cut these off on both sides and put a rod through to join them together. That would look neatest. Alternatively just cut straight across the back there and use some balsa wood that I bought to replace the elevator area with a straight across piece all in one and then cut a V out of the back here to allow for the elevator to go up and just cut the end of that off so it can come down because we also need to cut the rudder straight up there so that can go side to side I really do like the idea of retaining this and cutting across and putting a rod through but I think that may just be more work. I'll have a little think before I go any further. I've decided I'm going to cut straight across whatever width this is, that looks like about an inch two and a half centimetres. Yeah. I cut straight across the back there and then I'm going to use a balsa wood elevator which I'll actually make just straight. I'm not going to trim it. As simple as it can be. thinking about that ideally you want to do this at a angle but I'll do a straight cut and then I'll trim it that's not sharp enough I'll change blades well, there we go so I'll replace that now with a straight piece of balsa wood and I'll trim the bottom edge of here so that the hinge can go up and down. There's our bit of balsa. That's the first bit of balsa I've used in any of my models for years. I've tried to avoid buying it and I ended up having to buy some for this. I could probably have used a pizza tray but I thought I'd go for balsa. So that's our elevator. I'm actually going to go and varnish that because I don't have any dope or anything like that that we used to use on balsa wood but I do have some varnish so I'll use that. Well now that I've made a decision on the tail I can decide where I need to cut the rudder. I need to clear that from the tail going up and down. Cross like that. And then yeah, cut a fair bit of that off. But for the rudder I intend to use the existing rudder just cut cut it and hinge it
Right, now this, we need to cut off to allow for the elevator. Doesn't look like that's going to be very big to me, but we'll live with it for now. Might have to replace that with a larger piece of balsa to give us a bit more movement. Just going to put some tape on this side to act as the hinge. So we need to cut down there, cut down there. Looks a bit small to me, but we'll try it. Right, now we've got to get the elevator horn on there, or rudder horn. So we can actually control it. <laughs> 